Hello and welcome. Today I'd like to give you some insight on how I created this little machine. It's from the Donkey Kong inspired level of our game's Beats or Bones. And I'd like to give you some inspiration what you can do with assets that you maybe already have and bring them to life to make your level more interesting. And for this machine I've been combining assets from the Synthi Pirate Pack and from the Synthi Dungeons Pack. The barrels are spawned in the throat of the skull and run along a spline that runs all the way from the skull down to this platform off into the ocean. Before we look at the machine itself, I just want to show you a little detail. If the player is hit by a barrel, you see the barrel is destroyed and debris is spawned. And I just want to show you how I create this debris. This is a debris prefab that comes with the Cinti Pirate Pack. And you see, this is a single mesh so you can only spawn this debris as a whole. But I want to have the individual pieces to be able to be spawned, so it becomes more dynamic. And what I've done, I've used ProBuilder to take this single mesh apart and store each of the pieces as individual game objects. If you want to learn more about using ProBuilder to modify Synthi assets, check out one of my latest videos. You find the link in the description. So on the left, I have opened the Pro Builder window. I go to Pro Builderize. So now I can modify the mesh. I go to Face Selection. Then let's start with this one. Go to Grow Selection. And the good thing is, all these meshes are individual sub meshes. So if I grow the selection, it will only stick to a single piece. And then I can go down here. Detach faces and if you select this plus, you can say either detach the faces to a sub mesh or to a game object. So I select game object and if I now detach the faces, a new game object is created and it only contains this piece. Now you can export each of these game objects as a separate prefab and you are done. Now let's look at the machine itself. So we have some main parts like the skull and the jaw. Then the mechanical parts with the levers and cockwheels. We have the main wheel, we have the belt drive and we have the chimpanzee running and driving the wheel here. The machine itself is more kind of fake machine because I want to have a reliable behavior. The jaw bone is driven by a script opening and closing the mouth. Then the big wheel itself is driven by a script just rotating around the center axis. And only for the mechanical part with the levers, I'm really using hinges and Unity mechanics. Initially, I tried to also move the jawbone by the mechanics here, but sometimes I run into hiccups and then I lose my reliability. Central to the game is that the jawbone works reliably and that the barrels are spawned. The machine itself is more kind of a visual gadget. So whatever happens with the mechanics over here, the jaw is not affected by that. The skull is a prefab that comes with the Synthi Pirate Pack, but you see again, it's a single mesh, so the jawbone cannot be moved. And it has also a very different size. Again, I use ProBuilder to separate off the jawbone and make it a separate game object. So over here you see we have the main skull as one object and the jawbone as a second one. So here on the jaw I have this mover script that opens and closes the jaw. And I control the opening time, so the move time for opening and closing and the wait time, that's the time when the barrel is spawned. So let's look at the mechanics. Over here we have a beam, a main beam that's supposed to drive the jaw. Then we have two levers and we have the smaller and the bigger cockwheel. The main beam is connected to this lever using a fixed joint. The two levers are connected using a hinge joint. That's this one. The lever is connected to this cockwheel, also using a hinge joint. And this cockwheel is connected to this beam using a hinge joint. And it also uses the motor over here. So this cockwheel is driving the mechanic itself. And the big cockwheel over here is connected to the smaller cockwheel using a fixed joint. So whenever this cockwheel moves, 
this bigger cogwheel will move as well. And then we have the main wheel over here. And again, this driven independent from the other mechanics, I've written a little controller script that controls the rotation of the wheel. The chimpanzee driving the wheel is from the PolyPerfect Low Poly Animal Pack. And it's actually not driving the wheel, it's just playing the running animation that comes with the chimpanzee. And finally, I created the belt for the belt drive using Curvy Spline. Curvy Spline allows you to define a spline like this one here. And then you can add a generator that generates a mesh based on the spline and a cross section. And then you can export the generated mesh and add it to your game object. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you liked it, give it a thumb up and consider subscribing to my channel.